Hi everybody, this is Miss Fran. Welcome again to another class. Today, we're going to be studying numbers. I know that we were all studying letters and the vowels, but guess what? Now we need to go with numbers. Everything about us is numbers. Did you know that? We have five and five, ten fingers. We've got two eyes. We've got one nose. We've got two ears. We got many, many teeth, shoulders, legs, knees, elbows, everything is numbers. And last class, we were studying numbers from one to 10. Remember? Can we count together and I will write them in the board? On the board, yeah? Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow, you were very fast. Sorry, I took my time. Sorry. Yes, from one to ten. Can we uh, go one by one and tell them again? One. Let's follow my finger. Two, good, three, good. It's like if you were here. Let's go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Today, we're going to be studying new numbers, and these are big boys and girls numbers. Do you know why? Because we write them two by two. Here we have only one, two, and three, and they were alone. But what if we want to write 11? <gasps> two ones. They are together. They are holding hands. Okay? So, if we have one alone, it is one, but we want to make 11, we need to go get another one and make them hold hands. 11. Now, 12. In this case, we have a one holding hands with a two. 11, 12, 13. And here it is a one and a Three, good job, holding hands. After 13, we go for 14, and it's a one and a three. Oh, sorry, a one and a four, holding hands. And the last one is 15, it's a one and a five, holding hands. Good job. So this might be a bit tricky and sometimes complicated because now we're going for the big numbers. But it's okay because we're going to practice lots and lots and lots of times for you to always remember how to write them. So I sent you this worksheet right here with all the numbers and how you can write them. So here is 11. A one and a one holding hands. Twelve, a one and a two holding hands. Thirteen, a one and a three holding hands. Fourteen, a one and a four holding hands. And fifteen, a one and a five holding hands. Okay? So we need numbers from one to ten to count our fingers. We need numbers from one to Tend to count our toes, but what if we need to count them all together? We need big numbers. Okay, I'm going to take my tape here again, and I'm going to put the paper for you to see it. And we're going to do the exercises together. So, oopsies, we got here, I'm going to erase this. Good job. And we're going to put it here. And with a colored pencil. 
pencil, I'm going to take, this is fuchsia, I'm going to trace the numbers. So, I just need to follow the instructions. If we're going to make 11, we need to go down. Oops, no, we're missing this one right here. And then another one, go up and down. Good, let's do it again. Go from up and down and up and down. Now, can you make these ones do? Can you make them? Yes, of course you can do it. Okay, good. Now we go from number 12. We go number one, then we go up and down, and then we go round with a little tail. Now, let's go again. We go up and down, and we go round with a little tail. Yes? Super. Now, we go for number 13. We go up and down, and then two rounds. It's like a little heart, the half of a heart. And then let's go again. We go up and down and the half of a heart. Good. Now, 14. We go up and down and we go down to the side and all the way down. And 15. We go up and down, we go down, round, and a little heart. So, can we count numbers again to see if you remember them? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Super, you did incredible. I hope that you like this activity on numbers. And remember, now that we know these big numbers, we can count anything we want. So that is your task. Find something that you can count with numbers from 11 to 15. I hope that you had fun and see you in the next class.